Hey guys, Divinston here from my channel and welcome to my channel. This is a series where I find a creative way to recreate some TV series effect. And today I'll recreate this effect right here, which comes from season one trailer of Loki. So let's dive into it. I haven't personally seen Loki but this effect was highly requested by you guys which is why I'm copying this effect today. I'm not a specialist but I'm doing my best that I can give it to you. Let's focus on the effect right now which you can see very well executed in their season 1 trailer. The way they've done goes a lot further than what I'm going to do but that's because I want to keep it as entry level as possible because I know lots of you guys here are new to After Effects. But before I jump there please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss anything on my channel. So let's dive into After Effects. So first I shot this entry and exit footages on green screen just for easy post-production purposes. But it's not necessary you can use Roto brush to remove background. Once I finish the key, I replace the background. And now I'm gonna invisible the entry footage and gonna track the background footage. Hit track camera. Luckily for me this has tracked pretty well. So select a point which remains fixed and present for a long time throughout the clip. Right click and create null and camera. Create a new solid and make it a 3D layer. And drag this solid layer to the bottom of the camera tracker. Then copy and paste the 3D null position to it. Hit the Ctrl C on this layer. And hit the Ctrl V. Change scale, position and rotation to place it in the location you want. Then scale it up larger than the doorway will be to allow enough for a border for the glow to roll off. Hide the layer and draw a mask for the edges of the portal. Then make it visible again. Once done for the glowing edges, select the solid. We'll use Video Copilot Free Saber plugin. Set the layer to screen and change the core type to layer mask. In Loki, the portal have worm colors. So I'm gonna change my footage to match and tweak the glow and size settings. Then I'm gonna enable motion blur and play through to make sure it feels like it's in the right location. In my scene, pick where to animate this appearing is keyframe the start offset at the point I want the appearance to be. Then move back and increase the value to have the line draw on. The sudden end of the line, I can also keyframe the start side to taper it. Highlight these end keyframes and press F9 to ease ease them. To add a fork to glass sort of material, duplicate this border layer to be used as matte and delete the saber effect. Then duplicate again and move the border layer above these. I'll be using this texture image you can download from the description below. And drop it into the comp below the matte layer Make it 3D and enable motion blur. Copy and paste the border position and rotation then scale the texture to fit. Set the texture to alpha matte using the layer bar. Duplicate the camera and move it above these layers. Then select all three layers and pre-compose to become the portal texture. Hide the visibility and create an adjustment layer for the blur. Setting it to alpha matte using the other portal matte layer. Add a compound blur effect. And here on the effect drop down menu, select the portal texture. On the source, select the effect and mask and increase the maximum blur value. On the texture layer, we can add curve effect and change this to alter the look of our blur as well to animate this to appear in our scene. We can lower the curves effect to make it clearer initially. In the effect drop down, we can keyframe the effect opacity over time. So that it starts clearer and gets more fogged. 
we will also keyframe the adjustment layer blur amount and the layer opacity to have gradually appear to the compound blur. The compound blur is creating these edges. So to fix it, use a motion tile effect before the blur with mirrored edges and increase the height. Then uncheck compound blur stretch map to fit. I'm gonna add curve effect and tweak little bit on it. As the camera gets closer, I will use the fast box blur effect. Keyframe to increase and another curves to get darker over time. And I already have alpha footage without background on top. I'm gonna turn on the visibility and pre-compose it. And duplicate it and hide one for now. In Loki, when character walks through, this portal it's like walking through a wall. At the frame when Nam begins to walk through the portal wall, draw a mask beginning to remove part of them. And set a keyframe, go to the frame before and with the mask selected, if you double click square mask, it will convert my mask to fill the frame. So that before this point, my mask won't need any extra animation. Go through and add a keyframe to make it look like you submerging through the portal. I'm gonna skip this part because when it comes to the set key animation with the mask path, it's gonna take more time. Until there is nothing left, duplicate this layer and on the bottom version add a fast box blur and increase the amount then add a curves effect to brighten up and add a warmer tone giving us this border around them. Then trim this layer. In Loki they also have this more diffuse bright layer too. So I will duplicate this and increase the blur amount then lower opacity slightly. To add more interest to the harsh mask, create new adjustment layer above everything. Trim to the same section of the timeline and add the vector blur effect with the vector map set to this footage and lower the amount. This creates some distortion to these edges. It does create these gaps again. So use the motion tile effect like last time to fix it. Draw a rough mask around the area and increase the feathering. Then keyframe it to appear just like borders. This is just a portal effect tutorial, not a walkthrough tutorial. Just to make sure and do the same process to the exit footage as well. There you go. Let's see the final output. And that's pretty basic Loki teleport effect guys. I'm gonna do tutorials here and there. I hope you liked the video and got something out of it. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification icon. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Stay creative. Peace.